we have two storage units at this facility, and both of them were literally given to us. Take a look at this, though, guys. Look at this beauty. <laughs> this guy is making a lot of noise. Cutting locks. Cutting locks. Maybe that's our next purchase. What do you think? <laughs> a whole bag full of this stuff it says love pearl I'm supposing there's a pearl or an oyster or something inside oh it says do not eat mollusk is not edible so there's a mollusk in that freaking can and you can either get a white cream peach lavender or gold pearl in that mollusk and you put it inside of that little necklace that's cute this says ringling brothers barnum and bailey so this stuff right here is going to have some value because they don't make this stuff anymore. These, all these boxes are American Girl boxes, all of them. She had to have like, they have to be in there somewhere because nobody just keeps the boxes. Hopefully we can find them. That would be a win. That would be a huge win if we find all this American Girl stuff. Hey guys, real quick before we get started into today's video, I wanted to make a quick announcement. We actually run a Facebook group where we sell all of our awesome stuff in a silent auction. So if you guys are interested in purchasing from us what we find in these storage units, go ahead in the description of this video and also in the pinned comments, you will find a link to join our Facebook group. So do that guys. If you have any interest in buying stuff from us, that's where you can find us. Without further ado guys, enjoy today's video. What's going on guys? It's Jason. Man versus Mystery. Welcome to another episode. Today we are, well Courtney and I, here's Courtney. <laughs> she looks happy doesn't she? <laughs> uh, we are inside of a storage unit. We literally just opened this thing up. Um, both of these, we have two storage units at this facility, and both of them were literally given to us. I had a friend contact me. She said, hey, I have a friend. His, his wife had passed away. She had a lot of stuff, and they just don't want to mess with it. So we got these two units completely free, sight unseen, literally. I have no idea what we're going to find. I didn't bid on these. I didn't pay for them. They're literally free. So... What we're gonna do is Courtney and I are gonna start hauling this stuff out of this unit. This is actually the small one of the two. We're gonna haul this stuff out. We're gonna just kind of take a quick glance at what we've got, and then we're gonna move over to the second unit and start on it. I have taken a look at the second unit, just opened the door to see what we had in store for us. It's a 10 by 10 floor to ceiling. So really kind of excited about that. This one, uh, this one's got some furniture in it, so it shouldn't be but a 15, 20 minute load in, and then we'll scoot on over to the other one. But first, let's see what we got here. All right, so first foremost here, guys, looks like we've got some glassware. Uh, maybe, are those badminton rackets, probably? So. Looks like fishing equipment too, right there. Um, tall Werner ladder, that's $50 easy. $50 easy on Marketplace. Mm -hmm. Looks like some brand new tiara glass there. Uh, yeah, that that's probably gonna go directly to my my um, scrap guy. That's a leather chair, isn't it? Yeah, it's like the '70s version. '70s version. Mm -hmm. '70s leather, like a doctor's office. Doctor's office. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we might have a futon in here, according to those. Um, that's probably it right there. That bench. Nice. <laughs> what are you digging in over there? <laughs> Oh, signed by Babe Ruth? Yeah, Baby Ruth. Yeah, Baby Ruth. Worth. <laughs> so, uh, this is a really old bicycle here. It's seen better days, but uh, nonetheless, it's a, it might be a Schwinn. Hi. Oh, nice. Atari? Let's hope we find the Atari stuff. That'd be great. Uh, Eagles territory. How about that? So we got some Philadelphia fans in the house. What else we got? There's no telling. A few pieces of furniture. I think all this right here is just boxes. So we're gonna have a heyday with the uh, recluse. <laughs> all right, well, not a whole lot to be shown. We're gonna show those when we get them out. But uh, 
yeah, we're going to get this stuff loaded up. Okay, so we were loading up, and uh, yeah, this, y'all remember seeing this in there, the badminton uh, little things. Yeah, fishing right there. Take a look at this, though, guys. Look at this beauty. <laughs> this is cool. Transparency AM FM cassette deck radio. Guys, this is... <laughs> Linux Sound, I bet this is worth some money. Linux Sound model CT-80. I'm going to have to look this thing up. Uh, oftentimes, a lot of these transparent things you'll see like in uh, in prisons and stuff like that. Right. What tape yeah. is in it? it uh, what tape, tape is in it? It says, promise. All right. Well, have to take a we look have a promise. That. There is a yeah. promise here. <laughs> Target toss. we got some... Uh, some Star Wars action here. What's in this? Oh, this is just uh, bits and pieces. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah. That's probably by far the, the coolest thing out of this uh, unit so far, which we just got started. But uh, I'm going to look this thing up and let you guys know what it's worth. All right. So, yeah. So, the, there's none sold on eBay, but I did look it up. Uh, the CT-80 Transparent Radio. I saw one active for a hundred dollars. Who knows? They might get it. They might not. But a hundred bucks there. Um, this right here, this dolly, an easy thirty dollars on marketplace local. So we're at a hundred and thirty, I would say. Um, plus, we've got this uh, eight foot ladder here. I think it's an eight footer. Yeah, eight foot ladder. This will be an easy fifty bucks, no problem. So we're already at a hundred and eighty dollars. Um, yeah. Not too bad. All right, guys, take a look at this. This right here, this is all Tiara exclusive. And uh, yeah, it's brand new in the box. $5.75 is what they paid for this entire box. I wonder what's in it. 10524 is the model number. Let's take a look. Look at that. Green Tiara glass. Ooh, oh, these, are for, these are for uh, corn on the cob. And there's a set of four here. This is brand new stuff, guys. Brand new, probably from the 70s, maybe early 80s. Still in the box. Never been used. So there's that one. This is some more of the same. And some more of the same. So we have 12. 12 total there. Full let's, cook out. Let's look at this. This is 10166 TR glass. They paid $3.75 a box right here. So let's see what they've got in this box. All right, this is not the green. This is clear. But look at that pattern, guys. That is gorgeous. That's Pine so cones. Pretty. 10166 TR glass. We're going to have to look these up see what they're worth. So after careful careful consideration, the Tiara the clear glass plates, they're 8 inch uh, like luncheon plates. Uh, Ponderosa Pine is the name of the style that's on those they're not really worth selling on ebay even brand new a set of four sells for about thirty dollars on average that's including shipping not something i'm interested in selling on ebay however these things the uh the little corn cob holders um a set of 12 should sell for roughly around 75 to 80 dollars for all three uh, all 12. So that will be something that we're willing to sell on eBay. This guy is making a lot of noise. Cutting locks. Cutting locks. Maybe that's our next purchase. What you do you know? think? Yeah. I'll go get a piece of it. <laughs> we finally got the bicycle pulled out. Uh, looks to me like it is a Schwinn. However, it's missing that front plate there. But uh, pretty cool if you ask me. I like it. I like it. Rider. Easy rider. <laughs> there you go. That's a good looking bicycle. Finally got that that whole storage unit cleaned. Um, strangely enough, we didn't find what those cushions go to, so hopefully it's in this unit. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm thinking it's probably kind of like some type of just small couch, futon, something like that. But this box, I wanted to go through this with you guys. This came out of that last unit. And uh, in here, what is this? A little Place. dress? Oh, it's pantaloons. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> those are 
interesting they looking. Fancy, fancy. <laughs> you can see Courtney in those. I dare you. No, don't do it. I I'm not gonna dare you. Right now. <laughs> these later. are these are brand new silicone non-slip jar openers. There's a whole pile of them. They're, they're really sticky. They're supposed to be. Silicone. Those are new too. Forgive me for I have zinned. What are these? Oh, Romans eight twenty-eight, oh, Proverbs three five. These are they? Bags, yeah. Nope. Nope. These are uh, kitchen towels. Kate Winston. Heck Kate yeah. Winston kitchen towels. Those are actually nice. Got a whole pile of them. So that's that. Let's see what we got in here. Glassware, it looks like. Here's the roll of wrapping paper that they had. We'll use this for shipping. Oh, look. This is a TV game series, so this whole thing is... This This is the Atari game. Yes. Yep. Okay. So, there's a little chip on that one. Courtney's going to open that one. What we got? What we got? The fact that it so well gives me hope. Oh, I've seen a lot of this stuff in the past. Classic Oneida. Oneida. Okay. Yeah, just a, just a bunch of random glassware. But this is what I saw and I wanted to show you guys. This is a whole bag full of this stuff. It says Love Pearl. And I'm supposing... There's a pearl or an oyster or something inside. Oh, it says, do not eat. Mollusk is not edible. So there's a mollusk in that freaking can. And you can either get a white, cream, peach, lavender, or gold pearl in that mollusk. And you put it inside of that little necklace. So we've got a whole pile of those things in here. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. We got nine of them. Nine of these things. If we, if these are like ten bucks a piece. That's almost a hundred dollars already. So, there we go. And then a lot more glassware. Here's more tiara glass down here in the box. We're not going to go through it here. But yeah, there's tiara glass, brand new. All right, Ready? let's go to the next one. Are y'all ready? Are y'all ready? Here, I actually threw a lock on this, so we gotta go over here and get the lock, or the key. Let's get this key here. That's the one. All right. Here it is, y'all. Ooh, it is a little cooler in here, isn't it? There you go. You want this? All right, here we go. Literally no telling what we're going to find in here, guys. I have no idea. But it is chock full. Okay, look at that. Dun, da, da, da. <laughs> A lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Let's see, where do we want to go? Where are we going to start right here? Yeah, let's do it. All right, let's start right here. Look at these guys. I don't think these have ever been worn. Still in the box. Sketchers shape ups. Maybe worn once. These are money, guys. $40, $50 on eBay all day long. What is this? Downtown Abbey glass Christmas ornament. Look at that. A little Christmas action. Yeah. There you go. We got tons. Of different, uh, looks games. like board games. Penguin Pile Up, Angry Birds Star Wars. That's cool. So, there is tub number one. That's all sellable stuff. Lordy, lordy, lordy. That feels like a box of books. Hopefully, it's not too dark in here. Mm -mm, I think it's okay. good. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Okay, this is cups and bowls, wrapped up items. I'm not going to be able to unwrap all this here, there's just no way. But uh, some of this stuff, look here, ice cream dishes with spoons. 
That's Jess might cool. want that. Quite possible. Quite possible. What do we got here? This. So this is more kitchen stuff. A lot of kitchen stuff. We're not going to go through it here. But we'll definitely dig, dig through it when we get to the house. There's that. Looks like bedding and blankets. Blankets and pillows. Oh, this says top. What do we got? What do we got? We need to find all the American Girl stuff. That's what we need to find. This is empty. Ooh. Barbie lipstick look crayon. Okay. That's right. still in its package. Yeah. This looks like paperwork. I gotta be careful. Yeah, it's all paperwork. I'll have to go through that off camera, guys. More paperwork. That's what we got in that tote. Actually, I'm gonna take these small totes out of that big tote and use this big tote. For... Bada boom, bada bing. On the hunt for American Girl. Yep. That's what we're after. Let's see what's in this. Okay, this is all uh, fake floral stuff. Probably for graveside. Memorial Day stuff. They taped it up. No idea. Guess what? I didn't bring a knife. <laughs> <laughs> That's normal. Let's see. That's more floral stuff. This is going to be pretty much trash, guys, because the heat has gotten to these and it's cracked them. So they're not any good anymore, unfortunately. Or they just don't look good. These were brand new, never used. Mm -hmm. That's unfortunate. But Most of this stuff was, like this lady bought. Yes. She bought a lot of stuff. Okay. This is a nice thing to see where she had them marked. Marked, numbered. Mm -hmm. This thing says know. plants. Okay. Yeah, there's all sorts of stuff in here. Let's go right here. Havana Joe. The bag inside Double of the bag. bag. And we've got candles. That's trash. I don't really see anything. Is that a plant rope? This might actually be macrame. It is. It is. It's a ha plant yep. hanger. Yep, it's a plant hanger. I get all excited. Uh, macrame actually sells quite well. Yeah. Uh, ice trays. Oh, ice trays. We'll use the heck out of those. <laughs> Finally, some decent ice trays. Mm -hmm. uh, Ones that aren't fancy. <laughs> 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 we like the real deal. More of this stuff. There's a coffee maker or something right there. I see it. Yeah. This has plants, but I'm not sold on it being plants. Probably is. Plants. That's a fern. There's another fern and all sorts of interesting things down there. <laughs> right. That one. Uh, I just got this stuff kind of piled in here, so it's hard. I gotta strategically. Some home decor. Yeah, yeah, I guess so. That, yeah, it's a little plant stand. Yeah. Or not plant stand, I'm sorry. Um, that might be a little plant stand. Do you this have any plates on here, plate hanger? Uh, like a pan holder, like where you'd screw it to the wall. Yeah. Coat hanger, something yeah. of the sort. I think that this is a media rack. Yeah. 
just giving me media rack vibes. Here's the other one. So there's two of them. Those are five bucks a piece, probably. Dollars. Oh, the infamous yeah, Christmas tree. You know what it is? Oh, it has to be. I already saw one in there. Alright, I'm gonna just I'm gonna trust that that's what's in the box this time. <laughs> yeah, I think all of this is gonna be plant, plant stuff. stuff yep. But plants. It took, so she She like collected. Oh, she was gosh. a hob lob. A hob lob. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Somewhat organized though. I'm gonna just not even focus on that side. Yep. <laughs> We're gonna look through these. Boxes. Let's go towards the American girl. Here. Oh wow guys, look at this. Look at this. Okay, we got glassware. This stuff right here, this is uh That's cute. This says Ringling Brothers Barm and Bailey. So this stuff right here is going to have some value because they don't make this stuff anymore. Uh, same thing here and same thing here. Is that a cookie jar? Wow. My hand. Toy Story. Little popcorn thing. That's cute. And more kitchenware so stuff. So memorabilia. Yeah. That's a kitchen box. All of these boxes are American Girl boxes. All of them. And she so, had to have, like, they have to be in there somewhere because nobody just keeps the boxes. Hopefully we can find these. That would be a win. That would be a huge win if we find all this American Girl stuff. Not going to bet it. Not going to bet it. But going to hope it. We're going to hope it. All right. This is a vacuum cleaner. Bobby. Hoover. Hoover. Here's another Panasonic. Okay. Yeah. Vintage. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely. One your mama used. Let's see what else is in here. What's this? Clothing. <laughs> Are we stuck in here? <laughs> I guess that's on a timer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Some of this clothing is probably going to be quite it, nice. It looks like, like TJ Maxx bags or something. That's Marona, so that's Target. Have no nice idea jeans. About this. jeans. Yeah, just a lot of clothes in here. I'm not gonna dig through it, but just a couple pieces, just to see what kind of brands we have in here. And there we go. New tags. With tags. Yep, I knew it. Yep. That's Kato. I. That's what I Kato was kind of curious yep. of to know if we had new clothing. Yep. Which we do. We've got brand new clothing in here. All right. All right, let's see. Uh, yep, there's another Christmas tree. Courtney spoke it into existence. <laughs> All right, let's see. This is a rug. A heavy. Nice rug. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, girl. This is a nice rug. Body in that bad boy. There we go. Mm -hmm. Hey, it didn't break. Hello. Okay. It looks like a decent coffee pot. Yeah, not too bad. What's in here? Birdhouses. 
Those are kind of cute. They are very cute. Oh, this is heavy. What's up, Medline? What's in you? Fragile. Oh, gosh. <laughs> VHS tapes, y'all. Done to the left. Oh, here's a good one. Matilda. No telling, guys. I see, uh, oh, there's tons of DVDs in here, too, guys. Tons and tons of DVDs. Literally just probably 10 VHS on top, and the rest of them are DVDs, so maybe. Maybe we'll have some video games in here. Hang on. I'm a digging. I've seen something. Digging for dollars. Digging for dollars. Papa would be so proud. Yeah. Ah, I was hoping that was a. I was hoping and that the was green, a video game. Yeah. Veggie Tales. Hey, though, I wanted to show the kids that. Oh, here's Muppet, the Muppets. Muppets Take Manhattan. We got Kermit down here. These are nice. A lot of kids' DVDs, it looks like. Flushed away. <laughs> be in there. <laughs> yes. Oh, we're cutting locks inside yep. now. Got a lot of kids' DVDs in here. The Tybo Funk. <laughs> so, yeah. Everyone's Hero, Barnyard, Batman and Friends. We got a lot of kids' DVDs. That's cool. That is cool. That should be an easy sale. There's that box. Junk. In my opinion, I feel like most people put their valuable stuff in the back and the bottom. So it's kind of fun, like it builds the anticipation. <laughs> Clothing. I'm looking for that vintage stuff. I know, that's what it looks like a little bit. Look at there. Yeah. Hard Rock Orlando. This is a vintage Hard Rock. Let's see. Oh, dang. We got all sorts of goodies in here. These are nice sweatshirts. Mm -hmm. This one's a blank, but the tag will tell you how old it is. This is USA Made. Yep. USA Made Toltex. Which gives me hope that some of the clothing in here is going to be single stitch tees, maybe some graphic sweatshirts. There's no telling, really. No telling. So, that is... And they've been kept nice. Yep. Good clues. Good clues. He's on the treasure hunt. Here we go. Look at this, guys. Those are all oh, vintage fabric, fabric pa uh, sewing patterns. Yep. Yep. How much was this one back in the day? I don't know. It doesn't have a, a price on it, but these are, yeah, all vintage sewing patterns. You should be surprised. These things sell for, okay, here's one for $1.25, $1.75, a dollar. So these are probably... 90s 90s I'd say which um, Marsha just told me that people when we were doing that vintage fabric haul on yeah. whatnot yeah. she said that uh, most people want the vintage fabric to go along with the patterns mm -hmm. so here's here's some fabric this is all fabric scraps mm -hmm. though this lady was a crafting yeah she was she was a seamstress Fabric and patterns. Let's see what else. Retractable rake. Mm -hmm. uh, she liked her gardening. She liked her crafting. Look at this, guys. If this is in the box, no, nope, it's not. Darn. This was a singer box. But looky here. Look at how old this is. 
Oh, wow. Okay. Um, this is handmade. And it appears to me... And there's okay. more pantaloons. Wow. Really? I don't know. It looks like it. Okay, look at this, guys. Permapress Winnie the Pooh. Huh. Sears Roebuck and Company. Wow. So old school Sears. It says size 6X. That doesn't make any sense, does it? Well, the sizing chart for women has changed tremendously. There's no way this is a 6X. Yeah. <laughs> Ever. Yeah. <laughs> um, maybe it's like a size 6 year. 6 years, like, I don't know. I'm saying like the charty, like the size chart for women and kids has like yeah. changed so much throughout this the years. This is all kid stuff. Oh, wow. Baby quilt. Yeah. Is that Winnie? No. It says Critter. It almost reminds me of Special Moments. Critter Sitter. Love babies. Critter Sitter love babies. Okay. Yeah, this is all baby stuff. Old vintage baby stuff, even. Mm -hmm. Okay. Baby blankets. Mm -hmm. I wonder if this stuff had been in a yard sale in the past. Don't know. This is more of that stuff. Floral. Honestly, I'll probably end up tossing that stuff. I mean, there's so, well, there's so much of it. I could probably, wow, there's a lot of it. I'm looking on this side too and I see a lot of it. Maybe we could just offer it up to somebody. Mm-hmm, like a crafter. Yeah. So we got a bunch of books in here. Revolving card holder. So yeah, bunches of books. Don't think we're gonna find gold and jewelry and silver in this, guys, but it's all free. All free stuff, free inventory. And we're doing a service for somebody yep. who doesn't doesn't want to deal with it. Doesn't want to deal with it. Grief will do that. Yeah. What's that? A silk money belt, guys. Okay, if those I, came back. If I those came back. If I put on this silk money belt, you think we're gonna speak it into existence? A fanny I want to see you in a fanny pack. I really do. Yeah, it's a silk fanny pack. How fancy is that? Those have made a comeback. Let's put it right here on the side here. They've made a comeback. Yeah. Not today. Not today. <laughs> what else we got in here? Looks like we got a lot of wet. <laughs> A lot of wedding stuff in there. You got all the way to the bottom. You got all the way to the bottom. All right. I'm gonna see. I can just kind of, let me see if I can see what's back here. Oh boy. Okay, so all of this, like literally, is cakes and dust. Charlie never went through this. So like, there could be anything in here. We might actually find jewelry and stuff. Like, that's possible. I'm doubting it. I mean, he knew, he probably knows what his wife put in here. Or has an idea. Chef mate. Brand new. Boom. It's a little waffle maker. Cool. Gardening stuff. Let's see what's in here. Oh, this 
is an interesting lamp. The Governor Kirby, 1861. So this hangs on the wall. Obviously this is just needs to be coming sealed. loose. And then this goes on it like that. Very cute. So that's how that goes. That's kind of cool actually. Yeah. I like that. Well, there's that side. What's on this side? Empty. Cake pans. Little randomness. Okay. There's that box. You see, like we barely even touched this, and we already have a mountain behind us. <laughs> idea what's in here. You ready? Mm hmm Oh, pot holders. Ooh. Behold, as the clay is in the potter's hand, so are ye in mine hand. Jeremiah 18.6. Somebody made this. I like it. Just random. Card this stash. is a really, really cool clay pot. Yeah. This is really cool. It's got someone's signature on the bottom of it. Got a little pedestal for um, planted pots, potted plant or whatever. Pedestal. This is beautiful cloisonne. Ooh. There you go. That is some gorgeous cloisonne. Well, there's that. Oh wow. Limited edition. Needle art of the old world, it says. What's this say? It says uh the Isidori braid comes from villages throughout the world. The weaving process began on a loom that dates to 1801 by Joseph Jackard. This insert shows the scale of machine to man, standing 10 to 12 feet high and reaching 6 to 8 feet across. The loom was capable of weaving as many as 8 braids of the same color at once. 1,000 threads can be fed into Jackard's device that controls the individual warp yarns. However, much care must be taken because if a single thread breaks, the whole machine must be stopped while the weaver searches for the single thread. Jackard braid often reflects the personality of the country where it's woven. German braid, for instance, has bold colors, French braid, intricate patterns. Collectors of fine needlework try to acquire samples of the designs and colors unique to individual nations. Needle art of the world is offered only in limited editions. So, uh, yeah, this is uh, Isidori, Isidori braid. So, there it is. It's a swatch of Isidori braid. I love it. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> so, yeah. That just goes to show you never know what you're going to find in a storage unit. Never know. Okay. You're going to have to stand up probably. Let's see what's in here. I'm going to scoot this over. It says other. And boy, she meant other. Oh, wow. It mm. still smells. Potpourri bags. Oh, were these like wax honeycomb candles? That's weird. So yeah, tons of potpourri. Ah, see, I don't Dollar like seeing bag. that. I don't like seeing that. That's a little scary to That's me. That's trash. Yeah. Let's see about this. Let's see about this. This outlet cover. 
Okay, so this is just a dude's garage box. We're going to get, let's get through this little bit here, and then we're going to call it. Okay. So, all right, let's see what we got in this tote. Oh, brand new. Brand new yarn, guys. All of it. Brand yarn new yarn. Haul. Yarn. Hashtag it yarn haul. A tote of it. Vinyl. Oh, this is a uh, um, wallpaper. Yeah. <laughs> What's crazy is there's not very many people that do uh, wallpaper anymore. It's like a dying trade. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it'll come back. Let's see what's in this curd jar. Or whoever's doing wallpaper now to make serious money. Random stuff. Look at that. That's cool. It's pressed. Handcrafted in the USA by Lasting Impressions. There's no telling what we're going to find in here. I think the vast majority of it's just going to be odds and ends. Kind of like a junk drawer box. That's the, that's what I'm getting out of it. It's kind of a junk drawer box. Make ready. We can turn that into like a make ready box. So. Here we go. Hoover. Quick broom. Hoover Quick Room from 1947. Travel back in time. <laughs> I doubt it's 1947, but yeah. Next. Totes my goats. But uh, yeah, this is gonna be definitely trash. Somebody, somebody done weed on that one. Wee, wee. <laughs> Next. There is no telling. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I see something. Sewing and needlepoint. Sewing and needlepoint. Oh, guys, 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 guys. Oh, man. This is old stuff, y'all. Grandmother Clark's cutting diagram for pa uh, patches for uh, Dresden plate quilt. So, all of this is already pre cut. And these are old, old cloth patterns. Matter of fact, some of this could be, uh, some of this right here almost reminds me of like a uh, feed sack, feed sack yep. cloth, which that crap is worth a lot of money. A lot of money. This all looks feed sack to me. All right, let's see what else we got in here. Just to, what's this? Lance. Most of this is all going to be. Crafting, I think. Paris, Paris garters. No metal can touch you. Look at that. Very cool. Is that not cool? Let's see if they're in there. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> it's all just uh, crafting. She was a quilter. That's pretty obvious now. She did uh, needlepoint and quilting. Man, there's a lot of. This is a diploma. Yep. 1941. Got graduated it. high school. Graduated high school, 1941. That makes her... She was older than my papa. Yeah. Yeah, that's crazy. From where? Chickasha. How funny. Chickasha. Man, that's an old town. There you go. That's in that. Let's see what's in here. Ooh. Mario. It's me, Mario. Savannah would love that. It's going to fit her, too. I know. Like, I literally was like, somebody's <laughs> birthday's in four days. Yeah, it's going to fit her. Yeah. 
Lots of clothes. Lots of clothes. You're going to have to go through this with a fine tooth comb. Single stitch? Nope. Not. But you never know. I'm not going to go through this right now because my hands are dirty and these clothes are clean. Let's see. Uh, come here, look, guys. So, take a look here. We still got all of this. Look, we got stacks and stacks. This is something leather here. We got books, microwave, TV. Stacks and stacks of totes down here. Big boxes full of stuff right here. And it just goes all the way back. All the way back. And there's, that's the, uh, that's the pegboard over there. So there's really no telling, guys. There's no telling what we're going to find. Lots of stuff in here. Lots of stuff. All right, guys. Well, for being a free two storage units, I cannot be upset at all. Um, we're going to, we're going to go ahead and load up what we've got here. Um, because that'll probably get close to filling up the box truck. And uh, we're going to be coming back here probably in the next day or two to get the rest of the stuff. And so uh, look forward to another video on what's left inside this storage unit. It's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If so, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave us some love down in the comments section below. We really do love to read your comments, guys. And until next time, uh, oh, by the way, make sure that you are subscribed because I'm gonna tell you right now, over 80% of you guys that watch my videos aren't even subscribed to the channel. So hit that subscribe button, click the bell for notifications when we post videos, and we'll see you next time.